All right, folks, we're going to talk a little bit about in Windows 10 how to utilize the Windows plus P keyboard command. And what that allows you to do is to adjust your display settings and whether or not it is extended or whether it's duplicated or it just goes to one screen. OK, so here's my main screen, screen number one. And I have it extended. This is extended desktop to screen number two. And when I switch between these, my mouse cursor goes between the two screens like so. So we're going to talk about how to switch these up so that way you can easily switch between the two. So I'm going to hold down the Windows button on my keyboard. I'm going to, while holding that down, hit P. And what that'll do is it's going to pop out with a menu like so. And while holding down Windows, I can flip between these different options. Okay, so I have PC screen only. I can do duplicate. I can do extend and second screen only. So those are my options. So right now I'm on extend and that's why I have two different screens. I'll go click there and you'll see that I can switch between these two spaces like so. And by doing so, then I am able to uh, take advantage of the fact that I have two desktops. Okay, so that's extended desktop. And I can also switch it, which is one is number one and number two. If I go down here into the search and I search for display, and I can see my display settings. It'll pull up the settings for my display settings. And if I want one going one way and the other, then what I can do is actually grab, this was number one, this is number two, I can actually switch the order at which they exist. So that way two is on the left and one is on the right. And then you hit apply and it sets it. So just keep that in mind. If you're an extended desktop, that's exactly what's going on. I'm going to cancel this right now because I didn't want to make those changes. X out of that. And I'm still an extended desktop, so I have two different screens where I can switch between them like so. And then if I wanted an object on one screen versus the other, what I can do is I can grab a hold of that and I can drag it over into my other screen and let go. And now it's over there. Again, I can do the same thing from this screen to the other. I just grab a hold of it and I pull it over to the next one and it is moved. I can do that with even tabs. If I have a different tab open, I can grab a hold of that tab. I can drag it and go over to the second screen like so. And then if I want it back, I can grab a hold of the, just that tab and I can drop it right here into screen number one like so. I'll X out of that. I don't need it. So I'm back to screen number one and screen number two. All right, so let's try the Windows P button again. Windows P, I'm going to switch this to duplicate this time, and I'm holding down Windows, and I'm tapping on P, and I select duplicate this time. And what that's going to do is it's going to make my screens the same. So now I have screen two and screen two down here in my Chrome browser. If I click on Chrome, I can see that I have multiple windows up, and I can switch between screen one and screen two if I want screen one up. And it's the same on both screens. If you're projecting to a TV or a projector, this is what you do most of the time. However, sometimes the, do, the extended desktop is handy when you want something on one screen and something different on the other. That allows you to work in two different spaces simultaneously. Okay, so anything I do here is the same as over here. And that is duplicate. If I hold down Windows P, and I tap on P until I get to win PC screen only. This is really handy because what it'll do is it'll make my laptop screen on. And then what it's going to do is it's going to turn off my TV that I'm projecting to. It's going to send no signal to it. So that's how you could blank it out for a moment. So that way you could work here and not have anything on your screen for the moment. At any time, if I hold down Windows P, pull up the screen. I could switch it back to duplicate or extend at any time. I'll go back to duplicate and it's going to make them the same on both screens. So anytime this menu is up, if I just click off to the side, it goes away and I no longer have to deal with it. Just remember when you hold down Windows and hit P that you can switch between these by holding down Windows, tapping on P, and you can choose which one you want to do.